Today on Grandworks, I'm going to do some really quick tests to find out just how strong biscuits are. Stay tuned. Okay, so I'm not going to suggest that biscuits have holding power comparable to or even in the same universe as something like mortise and tenon joinery. But the conventional wisdom holds that biscuits should be used almost exclusively for aligning pieces during glue up and do not assume that they add any strength on their own. But is that true? I'm making an upcoming project that connects up a bunch of 5 8 inch thick, thick slats and was faced with the question of how to connect them. There are a lot of options, but if biscuits prove to be strong enough on their own, then using those would be the easiest, fastest, and cheapest option by a rather large margin. So I ripped down some example pieces that approximated the actual pieces I'll be using and connected them up using number 20 biscuits. Unfortunately, my glue bottle was clogged while doing this test and so I didn't use as much glue as I'd like. That definitely impacted this test as we shall see. My first test was to add 10 pound weights one at a time. After I got through 80 pounds of them, I decided to also add on a 40 pound chunk of concrete. Impressive. Next up is to see if it can support my weight. I weigh about 190 pounds. Not bad. These aren't magic though, so I wanted to see what would make them break. Yeah, putting all of my weight on a smaller footprint finally did the job. What's notable to me is that when I look at the failed joints, I see that it was just the wood and the glue that failed, not the biscuits. None of the biscuits had split. I'll have to say I'm actually rather impressed by the performance of these biscuits. I mean, think about that. They're effectively just this pressed sawdust here. But yet, when I look at the results of the test, um, the biscuits themselves at no point failed. So wherever it failed was essentially either in the glue or just in the actual two by four material itself that snapped off. The biscuits were fine. So in the end, what it was is I, I needed this to create a cover for a sandbox that I've been working on. Um, and I needed a way to hold something, like you say that, all right, it needs to at least hold up a cat, because the cats love to use the old sandbox or the litter box. Um, but ideally, it would also hold up the weight maybe of like a five-year-old or a 10-year-old who might accidentally go and be standing on that rather than taking the cover off like you're supposed to. So the test was, I figured if I could actually go and support significantly more weight on it than would it normally go on that and it passed, then I'd be fine with that. And indeed, I mean, the 190 pounds that I weigh or even the earlier test of the 120 pounds of weight showed that this easily could hold enough for something like that and substantially more than what you would have with just a plain glue and edge or end grain setup. So um, that was a successful test and it was enough that I decided I was gonna use that for the actual cover. Uh, if you wanna see what I'm talking about, I have the video for the actual sandbox build here and then the video for the cover build here. Uh, they are separate mostly because, well, um, I took a very long time to do the whole thing. Um, so, thanks for watching and see you next time.